Hello, uh, you are listening to Everyday Superpower, the place where we talk body language, non-verbal communication, we talk human dynamics, we talk attraction and repulsion and everything in between, alright? I got two links down in the description of this video. One of the links leads to the catalogue of body language. It is a YouTube playlist I have uh, compiled of my own material which will showcase how you can read the minds of others purely by observing and l just... <laughs> Just click the link, all right? I'm not going to explain no further, yeah? Second link, the Patreon, yeah? Where you're going to join me in observing and correctly assessing and analysing real first-time dates between two people. We're going to showcase and explain the attraction cues, the repulsion cues, and everything in between. That's going to be brilliant for you. You're going to internalise the information and you're never going to forget it, all right? You're going to just manoeuvre your way through the dating and romantic scene and perhaps even if you're currently in a relationship, you'll be able to treat your partner and understand them on such a, a better basis. Now, let's move forwards. Um, this isn't going to necessarily be in regards to attraction, okay? I'm just going to take you off of that route for one thing, but I am talking about the fellas. I'm going to talk about tough and scary men, alright, aggressive men, powerful men, some may de deem these men as alpha males, alright, I'm going to teach you how to engage with tough and scary people, yep, yeah? let me tell you, I've worked in various environments, I've seen a lot of people, I've come up with a lot of fellas, uh, my upbringing has uh, fine-tuned me into being incredibly uh, perceptive and observational, of whether a man is going to be a danger or not, alright, so I'm going to teach you the game, I'm going to teach you the ins and outs, and like everything, this is the bizarre thing, right, I do not know why we um, create popular discussion, and I, d I don't know why we always emphasise and try to make others believe the counter opposite of what is the actual truth when it comes to a person's behavior and characteristics right so i'm just going to hit you with a baseball bat from the from the get go and i'm going to tell you if you perceive somebody right generally superficially if you see somebody is strong physically strong physically intimidating if you see somebody as uh, vocally aggressive somebody who uh, acts out on a regular basis, if you see an angry person, if you see somebody who's got a big bite and so forth, please listen to me, yeah, that person is a weak man, I swear to you, I swear to you, that person is a weak man, yeah, I know a lot of people who are military, I know a lot of people who are fighters, and I'll tell you what, I've known a lot of people who do not have a background in anything that can constitute as them actually being powerful in conflict whatsoever whether that be through stratagem or whether that be through the physical act of violence i don't know no man who is well versed in them realms who portray themselves or overcompensate in that realm to to put that forward the reputation precedes them first and foremost and they know when to put a stop to things and the reality of it being when one man looks into another man's soul, if he understands who he is and he understands who they are, the communication is made, the correlation has been established and one of them is going to back off and it's going to be the one with the big bite, alright? I come from a background where I've seen bullies upon bullies upon bullies, alright? Masculine driven environments, yeah? where men have, I wouldn't even go as far as saying men have had to bully others, but naturally speaking, a pecking order does establish itself naturally, because not everyone is on the same plane here, and somebody has to take the bottom rung of that, and I'm going to do another video in regards to bullying and getting bullied, and how do you stop that, and how do you identify when it's going down that route, because you can't be anyone without someone trying to mug you off, and feel out your boundaries, subconsciously, yeah, they're not consciously trying to pick on you, but as a man who wants to be number one, 
as a man who wants the women, as a man who wants to feel comfortable in their skin, yeah, people will try to poke at you and see as to whether you're going to react in a defensive manner or as to whether you're going to allow to be walked all over, all right? Now, getting back to the topic, physical strength and size and scale, right? If this is a big, bulky muscle man, ask yourself, why are they spending all this time in the gym? What's the protocol and purpose? Is it because they are insecure and because they can't leave that insecurity behind? I like training. There is benefits in training. There is benefits in strength. As they say, strength is not a weakness, right? It's an incredible thing. It's therapeutic to train. It creates drive and understanding as far as sacrifice is concerned and commitments to a cause, it's a beautiful thing. But when somebody's life is to leave the person they were, you have to start to question if it's down to an insecurity and discomfort of self. If somebody has got a big mouth and speaks a big game but has got no history on proving that to be real to you, then why should you believe it? There is not a man on planet Earth who allows himself to get angry and frustrated. That should be considered a scary and intimidating man. Because the reality of it is you are a volatile and off-centred and emotional being and what is the emotional that is to be feminine and we all have emotions and we all deal with it but if you can't control your anger then we are not on the same level because I don't get angry for nobody if you are to compete with me and you feel like we need to war and we go to war I get I get I get my head screwed on I think logically and factually and I look at you and your surroundings and I make my mind up. I don't start getting in my emotions and acting erratically and start doing things that I will regret. And that's how you should be. That's the military mind. That's the military stratagem. That is the principles of warfare. That's what a man does if conflict is in the question. You see? And that's the victorious thing. Because imagine this, right? This big man goes around his entire life and the general perspective and perception of this big man from others is that of a respect out of fear of how erratic this guy can become and out of fear because they believe this is what a man is, of what masculinity is, of what power is. Yes, he goes around life feeling comfortable in his insecurity that he can continue pulling this off. And when he bumps into somebody like you, who is half his size, who doesn't put on a front, who looks nerdy, who could be anyone, and you respond with such comfort and such confidence in his presence that you can engage on a man-to-man -man basis, you will see the reality and the truth of the person who exists behind the image he is portraying that is existing behind the mask as to which has been put on. Yeah? And this might even come to the extent as to where he has tried to put on you. And this happens in the workplace. This happens in social environments. When you're walking down the street, people shouldn't be doing this to you if you're a grown man because you'll walk with confidence and you're beyond getting bullied. We're not in, we're not in high school no more. So when you're walking down the street, no one's just going to start picking on you or taking the piss. Maybe some drunks will try to be funny and make a passing comment. But you don't get touched emotionally by it. You turn around and you look at them for what they are. And you just continue walking on after looking at them. I did a video saying, give them the blank stare. That will put any, any angry person on their ass. Just give them the blank stare. They will feel so stupid in themselves. Because when you meet that anger, this um, frail energy when you when you put a, a brick wall before that weak disorganized energy it all comes crumbling down Darren Brown a hypnotist he told a story as to where he was walking home from a party in the early hours and bumped into this masculine man full of anger 
and the angry man approaches him with such disdain and such aggressive energy. Darren Brown looks at him and says, how tall is the wall in your garden? And being stunted by such a disturbed and uncorrelated question, the man breaks down, flush. It completely disrupts the man's state of being because he had been put before him the result and the wavelength and the energy as to which he had never considered, as to which he wasn't existing in. It's such a low frequency, yes? When we get angry as grown men, we strategize, we organize, and we respond appropriately. We shouldn't ever be acting in the face of aggression. And let me tell you one thing. You need to see these angry men as some people you can have a great conversation with. When they're getting frustrated, you can approach them as if they're just normal. Do that and just say, you all right? What what, what are you saying? What are you saying? It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let's just chill out for one second, yeah? And they'll meet you and simmer down and they'll see things on your level because do you know what you are? You're the bigger man. Even though this is the strong man everyone's scared of. And I say this because this has been inspired by a conversation I have had with people who have perceived this big, strong, insecure man as the person he is putting forward because they can't see through the disguise. The biggest man is the insecure man. I rate the big man. I say, bloody hell, I'd love to have calves like yours. You've got incredible calves. Obviously, this guy's got calves because he's been walking around 20 stone. He's unhealthy. But I still got to rate him on this muscle. He'll try to put me down and say, I got bigger, blah, 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 blah. And watch him as he continues coming back saying, hey, do you know that thing about the calves? Did you really mean it? Because he's not used to another man coming to him with that honest conversation and not coming to him with this sort of frail approach of just like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in complete submissions. I come to him in, from a position of respect because I see through you and I see you're my fellow man. So let's talk like men. Don't talk to me like some submissive woman. You see how this works out? I'm telling you, if I'm going to leave you one message on this video, it is just look at those who the general perceive as powerful, aggressive and scary and have a look at where that insecurity lies. Because if that has to be so overt and there's no reputation behind the image, the truth of the matter is it's nonsense, it's frail, it's made of paper, paper mache, man. Yes? And on that note, I'm signing out. If this was some game, click like, click subscribe, peace.